Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we'll be creating a very simple poster design without using any brush and colorless. That's the main uh, request that I get almost all the time. So in this tutorial, I'm not using any lots and brushes. So it's gonna be very simple and I hope it's gonna be fun too. And if you guys are enjoying my contents, please do subscribe my channel. And also if you wanna support me on my Patreon, my Patreon link is in the description below. So with that short information, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create an artboard. So for that, go to file, click on new. And I will just go with four by five resolution 300 color mode to RGB and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And right after that, let's drag and drop this uh, PNG right over here. Okay, it's a smart object, so Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. Now let's add a solid on the bottom. So go over here, add a solid color, and I'll just go with kind of this yellowish color. Yep, maybe something like that. Yep, this color looks good to me. And right after that, let's uh, drag and drop this grunge background on the bottom. And Control T, let's uh, fill this space. Yep, just like so. And let's change the blending mode to uh, soft light. All right. Now let's go over here and let's add a text and. All right, and I'm using this font, so let's make the font bigger, just like so. Control T, let's add a rotation, and let's keep it maybe right over here. and let's add a skew just a little touch yep just like so all right let's change the color to kind of this color yep something like that and now let's create a rectangle Yep. Control T, let's keep it in the center. Okay, let's make a copy. Control J, Control T. Let's keep it right over here. And let's have one more. Control J, Control T. And let's see, I'll just keep it right over here. And let's select all these three rectangles. Control T, let's move it somewhere over here and right click let's add a skew to and let's keep it maybe something like that and control t let's make it a little smaller yep yep just like so and uh, let's uh, make a copy of this text layer so control j control t let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it maybe right over here you know what let's, let's change the color to me like more purple yep let's go some towards this color tone all right now let's add a rectangle maybe right over here and let's add a stroke and let's change the stroke color to kind of darker color here and let's change the fill to zero let's add a text and 
then let's change the color to kind of darker color again and let's make it a little smaller Control T let's keep it right over here Control and let's make a copy Control T let's keep it inside over here and control T let's make it a little smaller and let's make that rectangle a little smaller too so control T yep just like so and let's move that text layer a little down maybe somewhere over here and let's select all these three layers control J control T let's move it maybe right over here and then let's add a I just, uh, it's, I just added a random coordinates number so if you want to uh, get the exact number but you can google it or find the coordinates so yeah just like that control T let's keep it maybe something like that and then uh, one more thing I have this uh, PNG so let's keep it right over here control T let's make it a little smaller Yep, and then uh, yep, and let's create a layer max. So let's keep it like that. And then let's add a drop shadow on this layer. So select this layer, go over here, and let's add a drop shadow. So it will just make a little separation. So let's increase the opacity and then maybe let's uh let's change the angle yep maybe something like that let's drop down the opacity oh, just a little bit yep maybe somewhere over here looks good to me all right and then let's go over here add eclipse and let's go to the text tab and let's yep and then let's uh, change the color to again kind of darker color yep something over here and then let's uh, make this a little smaller control T and then let's change the color to kind of darker color yep and let's drop down the opacity to just a little touch and again let's make a copy of this text layer Control t and then maybe let's change the, the font to And let's make it bold and let's control T let's make it a little smaller yep. and for the Eclipse let's remove that Eclipse I think only this looks good to me and then now let's drag and drop this uh, grunt image right over here and control T let's make it a little smaller yep just like so and let's change the color overlay to kind of darker color yep something like that you know what like maybe it's too big let's make it a little smaller yep somewhere around here yep and then let's add a one more text on the bottom and let's 
change the font uh, to maybe extra bold and control T let's make it a little bigger let's keep it right over here and let's add a rectangle and then let's keep it maybe under this layer even this text too let's keep it under this layer now let's change the color to kind of darker color yep something like that and let's change the color to white or yep, maybe somewhere around here and then let's move this yep right over here and then let's make a copy yep something like that drag and drop this another uh, paper texture right over here and let's keep it all the way to the top and control T and let's make it smaller so that it just fits inside this artboard and let's keep it maybe right like that and let's change the blending mode to color burn I guess or what do you think I think multiply looks good to me so let's keep it as multiply and let's add a text on the bottom so and let's move this layer text a little up Yep, just like so now let's do some simple color adjustment so select uh, this main image so let's say this one and let's go to the filter and let's go to the camera raw filter and from here let's increase the noise reduction color noise reduction just increase the sharpening and from the basic tab let's increase the texture yep just like so and increase the clarity too and I'll just drop down the vibrance maybe somewhere around here and let's increase the shadows and let's drop down the highlights just like so yep, maybe something like that and let's click on okay so this is what we have now let's add a curve right and then let's add one right over here just to make some contrast and let's add a one more over here and let's increase the shadows just like so now let's drag and drop this uh, signature right over here and control T let's make it a little smaller and maybe let's keep it maybe right inside over here and let's change the color overlay to kind of darker color so yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye